John, stop. Turn around. Turn around. What are you hiding? Did you get in a fight, Sean? Kinda. Kinda? What do you mean, kinda? What did I tell you about fighting? Get over here, son. Take a look at that. You really got punched. Here, hold that on your eye. All right, tell me, what's the name of this kid who hit you? Elizabeth. You got in a fight with a girl? Well, it wasn't really a fight. She just punched me. Well, why in the world would she punch you? What, what happened? She asked me to sit next to her at lunch, and I did. And then I was eating my tater tots, and she just punched me. Wait a second, wait a second. What was she doing while you were eating your tater tots? I don't know. She was talking about something. What? What was she talking about? I have no idea. She just went on and on, and I was concentrating on my tater tots. <laughs> well, I'll be damned. Sean, I know what happened. You just had your first date. Sit. Sit! My first what? Look, obviously this Elizabeth girl likes you. That's why she invites you over to sit next to her. Why'd she sock me in the eye? Because she likes you and you didn't listen to her story. Women want you to listen to them, Sean. They want you to pick up every small detail. They want you to compliment them. It's about tuning into people. It's about getting inside their heads and anticipating their needs. And this applies to all aspects of life. Not only this girl Elizabeth, but... Even your barber. But I don't want to date the barber. Sean, I know that one day all of this is going to make sense to you. You just have to believe me. But for now, I'm going to leave you with one very simple rule. Under no circumstances ever, ever do you mention to a woman her age or her weight. Nobody breathe. I've got it. I've got it in grams. I've got it in minutes. Just give me a second here. Do a little converting. <laughs> I got it. 37 years old, 127 pounds.